My name is Drew Hopper, and my husband Tyler and I were married in 2006. I found out I was pregnant again. For the third time, we were telling like everybody we could possibly tell, hey, please pray for us. We need this baby to be covered in prayer. But I immediately started having complications. I went in and had another ultrasound, and my doctor sat me down, and she said, you know, this just is not a viable pregnancy. This baby is not alive. There's been really no change. Um, that there should be growth, there should be a heartbeat, there should have been a heartbeat several weeks ago, and you really need to have um, a procedure, a DNC, and um, we need to schedule it really for probably next week. I can't tell you the amount of grief that came over me at that point. Lord, I am trying so hard to just trust you. And this hurt so bad. My husband and I started praying about it and talking about it. And Tyler just kept saying, Drew, every time I pray about this, I just get a terrible feeling. It just doesn't feel right. Something is wrong. And I said, I know. I, I feel the same way, too. And so I went back, and I actually saw another doctor. And she told me the same thing. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but it's not viable, and there's really not anything we can do. The following week, we went in. Um, to the hospital so I could have my procedure done and there was just something inside of me that was just saying don't do this don't do this and my husband kept saying the same thing this is wrong those were his words this is wrong this feels so wrong and so we got in there and the nurse started you know kind of getting me ready and she said I need you to take these um, these pills they'll help you um, with your nausea and stuff or your anesthesia and I said no I'm sorry I'm not taking those until I have another ultrasound. She said honey I've read your file and I'm sorry I know it's hard but your baby is not alive. There's there's nothing to see your baby's not alive and I said I know that's what my chart says and I know that's what my doctor has told me but I just have to know and I have to have another ultrasound. There was a small voice saying Drew you know just listen just slow down and step back. Lord be with me and just help me. The technician started my ultrasound and Tyler was holding my hand and I'll never forget the words that came out of the technician's mouth. She said, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but there's a heartbeat and I just started crying. It was a miracle. It, I don't know how else to say it. Then God gave me something that wasn't supposed to be there that I'd already been told twice that wasn't there. After they found the heartbeat and I met with my doctor, she said, well, there's just no way that um, that this can be, so we're going to change your due date. Her original due date had been Thanksgiving Day, and so they pushed it back two weeks. Raya Isabel, she was born on November 26th, Thanksgiving morning. We had a lot to be thankful for that day. I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> That's a God story right there. <laughs>